Good afternoon, Kiana Taylor, media correspondent, being two times. And today I'm here with the wonderful, the talented Tanika Grant of Sassy Thrifters. Tanika, how are you today? I'm absolutely wonderful. Thank you. What a pleasant introduction. <laughs> yeah, it's a pleasure to have you online. Thank you for um, calling in and making time for being two times to um, conduct this interview with you. So how are you doing today? I'm doing absolutely wonderful, and I thank you guys for taking a moment to interview me as well. I'm just as excited, so but all is okay. well on this end. <laughs> That's great. I love when the energies are high and they merge well. Tamika, I want to just ask you a few questions about Tamika. Mm-hmm. Uh, tell me who Miss Tamika Grant is. Well, Tamika Grant, she is a... Young lady, a tourist, a mother of two. <laughs> okay, okay. She's from the west side. She's from the west side of Chicago, born and raised. West side. I pretty much yes, yes. I pretty much lived all over Chicago, but I was born and raised on the west side and I'm currently on the north side. And um I've been I've been a stay at home mom for the last several years and while being at home I've tapped into the you know, this other creative side and um just learning and stretching myself and growing and uh, really, really trying to make my mark and be a part of, you know, something greater, out, you know, outside of myself. So that's who I am. I'm gregarious, vivacious. I love life. I love meeting people. <laughs> All right. I love that. I love your energy. You are living. Yeah. You are truly a living yes. vessel. That's a great thing. Um, yes. I heard you mention mom. So, hey, being a mom, we usually have the sense to be thrifters. Tell me right. about why you such a sassy thrift. You know what's interesting? Growing up, I was kind of born into it. My mother was the thrifter. She's the quintessential thrifter. And unfortunately, you know, I was that kid that gave her a hard time with the whole thrifting thing. You know, I didn't want anyone to know that I was wearing hand-me-downs, you know, or wearing somebody else's thing. But that was my mom thing. I honestly did not fall in love with thrifting until several years ago, and it was after my mom passed away. And oh, what happened, yeah, and so what happened, that was her thing, that was her therapy, and I didn't understand it at the time, and, it, and unfortunately it took me to lose my mom to understand, um, you know, it was her therapy, and then it became my therapy. And from that, it became a passion of mine. It was a way for me to connect with my mom. I really felt like in some of the stores that she would visit, that while thrifting and being in those stores, I felt her presence. So I would go to these stores just to kind of feel that and, and, you know, because I was missing my mom, you know. And so um, it started from thrifting, it turned into a passion, and now it has evolved into something that I'm sure if my mom was alive, she would just Uh laugh at me because I gave her the hardest time. Oh, my goodness. That's an awesome, that's an awesome story. Thank you for sharing that with us. So, you know, what did you say to your Mm -hmm. children? that would kind of calm them or make them not feel how you felt, you know, when you were young, being a thrifter with a, with a thrifty mom. You know what's interesting is, you know, these kids nowadays are so different from us. <laughs> They're exactly. so different from us. And my children, okay, my I have two. I have a 9-year-old daughter and I have a, an 11-year-old son. My okay. nine-year-old daughter, I call her the paint-sized thrifter, pint-sized thrifter. She okay. loved, 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 loved thrifting, and she loved telling people about sassy thrifters. I mean, it's like she everywhere we go, she's telling everyone about sassy thrifters, so she enjoys it. She loves it. I mean, she's pulling me okay. out the house. Mommy, let's go to the thrift store. Right. Let's go to that one over yeah. on this street and that street. <laughs> now, my son, no, total opposite. I mean, we have, like, Fits. It's gotten to the point where I can't even tell him that I went to the thrift store. I just let it be. I just get him some things, and I take the tag right. off, and I have it laid out, and he doesn't yeah. know. But before, you know, I would tell him, like, oh, my God, I got you this really sharp jacket from the thrift store, and he would get upset. And I'm not even sure if he really understood, like, it was pre-loved, or I don't know what it was, but he would have a fit, and we would literally fight for him to put these things on. So it's interesting. <laughs> she loves it. 
him, he not so much. But I've okay. learned to just, you know, go with the flow with him, not share so much with him. But he, he will eventually – he's kind of like how I was when I was a kid. You know, I I, okay. I, I didn't want it. I didn't want thrifting. Yeah. I didn't want thrifting to be part of anything, you know. So he kind of has that part of me when I was at, at his age. And so I try not to okay. be too hard on him because I realize he'll come into it. He'll come into it. Exactly. Okay, mm-hmm. so how would you, how would you pitch – um, being a sassy thrifter to um, just a regular individual. Okay, so let me just give you a little background. Um, two years ago, I created the page, and it was interesting because um, when I would be out, you know, out and about, and people would ask me, like, where did you get your shoes or where, where did you get your jacket? And when I would tell them from the thrift store, they didn't believe me. They didn't believe me when I told them I went to the thrift stores. So my sister Nikita and I, we were sitting around talking because she's with me most of the time, and she witnessed this. She'd see, you know, people having a difficult time believing that I actually shop at thrift stores. And so she is who suggested, like, maybe you should take people, like, where you thrift. Like, take them. Show them where you go, you know, instead of just telling them, like, take them. So one day at home, it was a rainy day. I'm on Facebook. I throw out on Facebook, hey, you know, what do you guys think about me getting a bus and, you know, I show you show you guys these thrift stores where I shop. And everybody went bananas. Like, they loved it. Like, yes, get a bus. Like, we want to know. Like, take us. Show us. And that's how this whole thrifting in Chicago, these bus tours that we do, was started. And so from that, we, I created the page, you know, Sassy Thrifters Facebook page, as a way for us to communicate. So I wanted to move off my personal page and, you know, create this page for thrifters where we can unite, talk about our thrift finds, and then also for the non-believers, for the people who have difficult time, you know, have a difficult time believing uh, that these uh-huh. things, that you can find these fabulous things at a little, you know, for nothing, I also wanted to remove that shame. You know, there was a, there's some sort of taboo or shameful, um, you know, that goes with thrifting. And so I wanted to dispel that. I wanted to remove that shame from the whole thrifting. I wanted I wanted people to I want people to know that it's okay. You can be frugal and fierce. You know, you can be bourgeois <laughs> and thrifty. You can be, you know, a diva okay. on a budget. <laughs> you know, you can you. And nobody even knows the difference, do they? Until you say something, I mean, you. there's so many things I've purchased from the thrift store, anything, you know, everything from Givenchy, cheese, Chanel, Gucci, all that right, high-end right. stuff for little I love nothing. you said Givenchy. You know it. <laughs> they're there, too. Yeah, they're there, too. <laughs> you know, you so know what the people. Yes, Go ahead. yes. Yes, no, I just want people to know, thrifter, there's no certain look, because people tend to have this uh, preconceived notion that people who thrift are poor or, you know, um, whatever these preconceived negative notions, and I want to remove that. A thrifter is every woman, attorney, doctors, teachers, oh, homemakers, <laughs> thrifters, yes. we are everywhere. We're around the yes. world, rich, poor, middle class, thrifter is a thrifter. She's every woman. She's everything. Exactly. She's fabulous, and she's she loves to shop. She gets a bang out of her buck. Exactly. That's who we exactly. are. <laughs> exactly. That's who we are. You know, we make it yes. happen. We're frugal make with it. Happen. We're economical with it. You know, yes. so I, I, I really love it. Thank you for um, expounding on that point. I appreciate it. Um, so tell me, um, I want to hear about the event. Share with me about the, your event. Okay, so, you know, with the thrift tours that we put together, um, I found, you know, just speaking with the thrifters and the people that would attend the bus tours, you know, you have conversations. And what I found out is a lot of us thrifters, we can, you know, tend to hoard a little bit because, you know, we found all these fabulous things for a little of nothing. And the next thing you know, we have all these shoes, we have all this stuff. And so a lot of the thrifters were concerned that they have all this stuff from all these deals and they needed somewhere to just get rid of this stuff. You know, they, 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 worn these things, they got the excitement out of it, now they're ready to pass it on, they're looking for places to donate, they're looking for places to possibly resell and make them a couple bucks. So that's how we came up with the idea of the fleek market, which is a market for anyone, a stay-at-home mom who may want to, you know, resell her pre-loved items, make a couple of dollars off some things that no longer serve her, things that she may have outgrown, things that no longer serve, no longer serve a purpose for her. This market is an opportunity for her to get a table, sell her items, 
times we have uh, business owners, small business owners who are just starting up, starting up their business, and they need a platform to showcase their product or service. So, you know, our market is open for everyone, anyone from a non-for-profit organization, stay-at-home mom, uh, entrepreneur who may hand make, you know, leather goods, make their own mm-hmm. body butters. It's just, it's a plethora. You may vintage. You you can come to our markets and find a little bit for everyone, home decor, baby items, men stuff, gadgets, you okay. name it, we have it at this market. Okay. And so so where, first, where the, yes, yes, the I'm sorry. The, yes, the first one, this is our first one in 2017. It's April 9th, which is this Sunday. We're at Hale Franciscan um, over on 4930 South Cottage Grove. We're there from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. Again, that's Hale Franciscan School. 4930 South Cottage Grove. We're there from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. into the north side of the building. And yes, it is free. Free, free, free. Dot 99. Free 99. Free, <laughs> free open to the public. <laughs> you heard it right here. <laughs> you heard it from the sassy sister yourself, Tamika Grant. It is free 99. Come on out and help my sister this Sunday. And I'm support yourself. Just I want I want the community to come on out. I want the community mm-hmm. to come on out and support the community. We have outside of the church community, there's no other market in the city that's doing what we're doing. Which I said before, we encompass uh, you know a mixture of things: uh, pre-loved items, handmade items, um, small businesses. But we want the community to come out, come out and support. I know quite a few people who like to load up their car and head way north to the other neighborhoods and shop at these rummage sales and these flea markets that go on, you know, outside the neighborhood. But we've created something right here locally in our neighborhood for you. We have great quality items. We have food vendors there. We have a DJ. We have some entertainment. And we just have some people. We have about 40-plus vendors that will be there. They're ready to serve you. Just give us a try. Come out. You may one day. Uh, you also have the opportunity to become a, b- a vendor yourself. And so, yeah, just come check us out. Come get a feel for it. Come get a vibe for us. Come support. Come recycle your black dollar with your community. And we, we just want to serve you and show you what we have, what we're working with. So come on out. That's what's up. I love that you said a, quite a few key words, and one in particular is come recycle that black dollar and come yeah. out in your community. Show yeah. up and show out and support you. Tamika Absolutely. Grant, I thank you so much for taking the time to, to let me interview you. And, look, you're going to see me. You've got to see me. And, and I also got to get one of those awesome. personal thrifting days with you. I look forward to that. I look forward yes. to that. I want you to do a makeover. Make me over. That's what we <laughs> I love it. And that's what I want to hear. It's all about community. It's all about building. It's all about economic empowerment. And that's what we're all about. And so I'm excited to meet you and to meet others, new people. Just come check us out. Like I said, you, yes. we put together different things. We have a stay sale bus tours. We have DIY workshops. We have networking events. So it's more than just thrifting. We are actually into community economic empowerment and building and so yes i can't wait to meet you and thank you so much for having me oh wow thank you so much Mm -hmm. for taking time again to let me interview you you know you're a powerhouse in your own right i mean i got so much from what you just said today april 9th this sunday once a month we do this for six months six months every month. Join us on Facebook. Join us on Instagram. Join us on Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest. We're all over. <laughs> Sassy Drifter exactly. is the name. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> Again, thank you so much, Tamika thank Grant. You. Thank this you, is Tiana Taylor, media correspondent, being some time. Remember, getting your community. Support you. Come on out yes. Sunday, April 9th. Sassy Thrifters with Tamika Grant, Harold Franciscan. Again, Woo-hoo! thank you for listening to our interview. We look forward to speaking with you again soon. Kiana Taylor, media correspondent, being with time. Goodbye. Right, peace. Peace.